Welcome to the Property Experts Podcast by Fantastic Services, where we interview leading landlords, property developers and investors, architects and interior designers. Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Fantastic Services Property Expert Podcast. Today, I'm super excited. I've got Matt Kentrick here, who is in Fantastic Services, and his service is one of those services that I've been look, looking for for years to add to the portfolio, and there's a big reason for that. Um, as you know, Fantastic Services have moved into more sustainable things. We're also looking at cleaning, maintenance, repairs, which inevitably is sustainable, and Matt has been doing this for 13 years and we've been talking a long time about how do we add this into our portfolio of services we do. And the service is called Heart Service Repair. I call it magic because some of the things we're going to see and we, we've got some great photos. So for those of you who are listening to the podcast, drop on to the Fantastic Services website, look up the Property, so, uh, property Experts uh, podcast and do this. And Matt, thank you so much for your time today and That's welcome right. to the uh, studio here. Thanks Matt. for having me. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm super excited. I've um, obviously been in the game for about 13 years now. I've had my own company for uh, six years. And uh, this has been kind of like a, a happy accident, the way this is happening with uh, Fantastic Services. It seemed like the right time for you, the right time for me. And speaking with a lot of your colleagues, they uh, they sold it to me. Well, I didn't really need much selling, to be honest. I was speaking to a couple of people that were working for you and with you. It's just a great contract. It's a great Great company, a one-stop shop, and um, yeah, I'm, ha- I'm very yeah. excited to build this up with you. And it adds very much up. And I mean, like the the way that I see it is like we're 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 talking about a couple of things where hard surface repairs is needed, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking about like at the end of tenancy, um, you know, when you're moving out, getting the deposit back, there's certain things you can repair. There's insurance claim where somebody has done X, Y, Z and needs to repair. Then there is the post builders drama, where it's like you finish the property, but then oops. We drop something or X, Y, Z. It's like it can be brand new things. Mm-hmm. And the cost of replacing is enormous. And, and that's one of the benefits on it. So, I mean, Matt, take me a little bit through the idea about how did you get into this? Because to me, it's magic. You know, it really is magic with some of the things you do. I mean, like matching colors, it's sanding repairs, filling things up. And it's it's like it's a design itself. So there is some – it's 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 art, right? Yeah, well, I think um... – most people don't really realize this trade even exists. It's been going for about 25 years. And I didn't know it existed until I saw it when I was working on a building site. I saw a, uh, a hole in a worktop and a guy was filling it. And he was, I said, what are you going to do with that? He said, I'm going to fill it and paint the detail back in. And he's like, no, nah, you can't do that. That's impossible. Like, how, where do you even learn to do that? He's like, come back in two hours and have, and have a look. So I came back in two hours and I looked at his repair and you couldn't even tell it had been repaired. I was like, wow, I like just as a mass amazing he's like well if you're interested in learning i've got a workshop up in manchester if you can come up next week and i'll teach you so yeah i uh, booked my train ticket booked the hotel and i was gone i was in manchester and then um yeah the first kind of few months is pretty intense they kind of show you all repairs uh color matching filling uh things to do with an artist brush a compressor with a small gun and a big gun and uh, yeah, after that, you're kind of out on your own. I think it's kind of the best way to learn to throw someone in at the deep end. I mean, you can't, you, this really is learning on the job. But um, yeah, a lot of repairs are pretty similar. You've got to uh, fill it, profile it, and then apply some kind of color. And then, yeah, it's uh, as good as new. I mean, this is what, I mean, because I've seen your van, you carry so many different things, like so many colors, so many different things. Like it's, it's not just a well maybe. And, and this stuff here you carry, like, like it's an artist toolbox. And I'm like, I, I've been so impressed with some, some of the pictures we've seen and some of the jobs that's been done. I'm like, I love this service. And it's, 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 I'm, well, of course I'm, I'm saying that from fantastic, but I also like as a customer, I'm like, whoa, I don't have to throw this out anymore or, yeah. XYZ can be repaired. And I was like, wow, do you know how much difference that makes when it's possible? And I didn't know it existed either, right? Like it's a couple of years ago since I saw it the first time we had a couple of claims, we had to do it. And I was like, well, hold on, they can repair this. And I think the number one thing is like when people see it, right? They, it, the, the reaction when you see something being done, is like, hold on, they can repair this. It's like, they're never going to know that it's repaired and you and you look at it afterwards like i had a had a new kitchen fitting and one of the doors had had a massive scratch on it and wow i cannot see it 
You know, I can if I really go in and scratch with my nails and I'm like, but you were talking about, I cannot see it otherwise. It's, it's even, uh, even working in someone's house. Um, sometimes they don't actually believe that we've repaired something in there, even though they knew where the repair was. If I say, come back in two hours time and then they come back, they're like, I don't believe you. I think you've changed that. And I was like, honestly, that is a repair. And they're, they're like trying to find it. They're putting their hand up to block the light. They're trying to get more light on it to see if they can see it. And yeah, it's, it's amazing. That's why I kind of, it really kind of um, grabbed my attention when I first saw it because every day is different with this job. You're repairing tiles and stonework and brickwork, uh, worktops, flooring. And there's, there's a real kind of um, job satisfaction once you've finished it. Oh, I mean, look, I mean, I'm going to share some uh, some images and those of you on YouTube and on, on the blog, um, blog can see it, whereas you can't on the, on the podcast because I think this is one of the things you have to see it to believe it. Mm -hmm. Right, we'll go through some of some of those here, Matt. And I mean, you know, like this is a, a cupboard cabinet or something else that's 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 broken. A chip has fallen off, and yep. you know, we even look at the veins in the uh, in in the wood here, and it's like that's gone. And and it's the same process you follow. You fill it, then you um, apply some kind of color to it, then you sand it, and then you paint in details, and it's gone. I mean, yeah, you fill it with uh, the filler and then sand it back and then uh, you paint the detail back in with an artist brush. I mean, honestly, that can be done in within half an hour, comfortably. Wow. And it's like, so what, yeah, if, you, yeah. if you're thinking about ordering another door and then getting someone to fix it, that's five, six, eight weeks, maybe. Like, and here we're looking at a windowsill, um, you know, and, and even, oh, wow, even the holes. I didn't see that on the before and after, right? Even the holes of where the handle was because they no, no longer needed the handle. Well, that was, that was actually in a, in a primary school and um, they'd measured the height of the window and the, the, because of health and safety, um, because the window was too low, you, you weren't actually allowed to open it, so they had to take the handles off. And it was either move the windows up or take the handles off. And obviously the cost, I think there's about 50 windows we had to do there, all like that. I mean, it took us about four or five weeks, I think, but uh, yeah, we saved them a hell of a lot of money doing it like that. Mm. No, exactly. No, and some of them are not always 100% fully here. You can still see a little bit of stuff, but you can see how much detail has gone into it. Yeah, um, that, that took me a, a, a while. That took about seven hours to do that detail back in. Wow. It took a, a long time. But yeah, that's just uh, that was a flood, water damage. That's, yeah, true right. in the wrong yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just flicking through the pictures because, I mean, I'm astonished. Every single time I see them, I'm like, is that... The before and after, or is it the other way around? No, it's actually the, you know, it's like I always think it's, it's the opposite way around. It's like, okay, because yeah. I can see somebody's been trying to fill this one before. Um, I mean, and this is one of the ones that is like, I, when I see the one on the left, which is the, the bathtub, it's, it, it's got a, a crack. Is it enamel or I can't see? Yeah, that's but, a acrylic. Acrylic. And, and it's yeah. like, you know, my first gut instinct replaced. Right? That's my first gut instinct when I see that. And then when I see what you've, what you've finished with, it's like, that's magic. You know, Matt. yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's kind of a typical to repair. I think that was on a building site. But if you add in the cost of a new bath, well, taking the old bath out, put a new bath in, getting a plumber to come out, uh, you're going to break some tiles around the outside, so it needs tiling, you need a tiler, it needs a uh, mastic around the outside, you need a mastic man. That's three different trades. I mean, we can do that in two hours for you know 10% of what you're going to pay mm. to the three other trades quite comfortably. Mm -hmm. Truly is magic. And here, again, you know, like either they placed it the wrong way or they, they planned the pipes to be somewhere else and bam, the hole is filled. I mean, this is, a, again, is it a sink or a bathtub? I can't see, but the corner. Yeah, of that's, a, that's a bathtub. That was a, that was going to be the hole for the, the shower that comes through and they drilled it in the wrong place. So that gets fiberglass underneath and then filled and sprayed on top. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty time consuming. And, but it's, and, and uh, this, is, this is what I see, like when we're going through those images, I mean, this one here is like, to me again replace no nope, repair yeah. uh, you know this is what i keep keep every single time i see it and i see it and when we've done it done a job and it's like wow we could actually repair that you know it's, it's one of the things I, I i learned about cleaning and like how much can be cleaned and then adding this top onto it like you know now we're complete with the number of services we do with fantastic service i mean it really completes what we're doing like one is the end of tenancy cleaning then we mm -hmm. finish the job and after builders and, and i mean you know like like how is this even possible this one is, you know, like anyone who's repaired anything, as I said, this is not a skill you learn overnight, Matt. I mean, you've spent no. years 
learning this? It, yeah, it takes time to definitely um, learn your craft, but obviously the more you the more you do it and the more you're around people that are good teachers, you can teach you and kind of pass on that knowledge. Um, yeah, you, you can definitely pick it up. I can, I can teach anyone for sure. If you wanted to learn, I can teach you within three to six months. I I mean, I, honestly, I would like to learn because it just looks so satisfying as well, right? Yeah, let's do you it. Know, let's do it. Get these pictures on the Instagram as well, because I mean, like this one here, like you know, my Instagram is like it's gonna stay there forever. You know that that's gonna stay there forever because you're not gonna replace a whole radiator. Um, you know, and and honestly, if you spend a lot of money on getting your bathroom fixed, and that's the first thing you see, it's like it's like oh, butch job, right? Yeah, I mean that's incredible work. Um, uh, as I said, like a lot of people don't know this exists. So if you're not too sure well, what can be repaired. There's no harm in trying. Let us come out to you. Fantastic services come out to you. Let us show you the repair. If you're not happy, then I, I won't charge you. Mm. That's, that's what I always say. But, I, this, but, it, but in six years of having my own company, that's never happened because people are always astounded by the repairs. Wow. No, but, but Matt, that's why I had to bring you on this podcast because normally we, we're not really promoting fantastic services ourselves and this stuff once in a while we'll talk about it. But that's because I think this service is... It's not new, but it's so underutilized in what's possible. I mean, like, like it, it astonished me. Like, whenever I see the pictures, whenever I see uh, what's going on, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. Like this door here, like that's an instant to me. Is like, you know, whether it's post burglary or whatever it is, you know, like that's an instant. Like, you know, oh, you got to replace the door. Or it's just gonna look shabby forever. Yeah. And. And, and and this one here, I think this is a lot of the jobs, right? Tiles are yeah. a big part of the job, right? And, yeah. and repairing tiles like this, I mean, you can't see it. You know, you can't see it. And you, I mean, you know, and that's where there's a bit of artist in there in how you've made the color come back on, on, on another part of it, right? It's like there's a bit of the artistry, right? As I said, like there is a bit of art in this service here. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean, um, I'll, I'll, I'll be looking for artistic people. If you've got an artistic flair, I mean, this is a good job for you. Mm. No, because uh, you... I think someone had dropped a hammer on the tile there and uh, they were thinking they're going to need new tiles. But um, yeah, that's about an hour's work, really. Not very long at all. And again, a fraction of the price. Yeah. Well, I mean, a couple of years of experience and being able to do it so that it just disappears, right? Yeah. <laughs> I see. It's like it, it might seem short for you, but it's like that's a lot of learning behind it. And this one here, I'd never think this could be fixed, right? This is a, what's a kitchen worktop? And kitchen it's, worktop, yeah. it's, it's one of those, um, what is it, those kind of stone ones? Yeah. Um, yeah. And like, like to me, that would either be there forever or, you know, I'm just, I'm just baffled by how it's possible. If you think of how many, if you're going to change the worktop, how many different work, uh, tanks and trades you need, the, your, your your hob needs taken out, your sink needs taken out. Uh, has that got a splashback on it? Looks like it's got a splashback on it. Uh, a mastic man. So, you know, four different trades. The cost of a new worktop was £1,000. I mean, we could do that two hours. And and who, how durable is this, Matt? I mean, like like this one here, because the kitchen service is, is especially the stone ones, are meant to be mm -hmm. durable and stuff. How durable is it? Um, well, we you... use the same filler that they use in on cars for body repairs. So okay. this stuff doesn't come out. It doesn't crack. It doesn't go soft. It doesn't fall out. I've never had one failure from the filler that we use. So this is solid. This is staying in there forever. Once it's in, it's in. Well, I mean, and for those of you guys listening in, I mean, you do, do drop on the website and see these things for yourself because I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with, and I said like, uh, like this one here, I mean, like, uh, you know, I'd, I'd say that it's going to be there forever, you know, like, oh, it's cracked. I mean, I, I would do something about the, the grouting on this one here, but that's, uh, that's another thing. <laughs> but, but you fix the, uh, you fix the bath, uh, the basin here. Right? Yeah. But that's the, uh, that's the shower tray. Yeah. Yeah. So, so um, Yeah. And, and here again, another tile in the guy. I mean, like this one here is like, bam, you know? Yeah, I think that was the, the, the lady said that was the gardeners. They dropped something on there. And she thought, I don't think they make those tiles anymore. So they were talking about ripping all those stone tiles out and getting a whole new garden in. And then I, I think she saw uh, an advert for hard surface repairs. And then, uh, yeah, we saw it and we did that just in, I think, a morning, three hours, because there was a few other, few other chips that we did as well. And, and that's what I mean. Like, people don't know that this is possible. I mean, I didn't know that this was possible. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and until you see it in, in real life, you go like, wow, do you know what? I can get back to actually better than, I always say, like, 
Um, and after builders clean is what makes a home a home, right? Because yeah. after the builders have been there, we know there's uh, cement, there's little bits and everything else. That's why when our guys do the after builders clean, it's coming out with, um, with, with, with razor blades and scraping things off the wall and a special uh, detergent that uh, dissolves cement and this stuff here. And then now when there's been an accident and there's like, yeah, bam, you can also fix that. So it's like, it kind of makes, you know, it kind of makes it, 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 it it's kind of a little bit about perfection, isn't it? I mean, you know, you must be a perfectionist, Matt. Just I am a perfectionist. But, you know, everyone's got hectic schedules these days. Everyone's working more hours where the purse strings are a bit tight. If you can save yourself time and money by choosing a service like this, then why wouldn't you rather than wait five or six weeks for a new part and then someone to fit in and someone's ordered the wrong size? We, could, we can do this all in the same day. There's no repeat visits it doesn't have to be done two or three appointments this can be done once and once only and then it's perfect yeah or unless it's a whole school with uh, 300 windows and this one here is 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 one of my favorites because there are so many amazing fireplaces and so many amazing things i mean i almost think of this like like painting restoration like art yeah. right because there are so many amazing uh old victorian houses with, with with these kind of cracked marble this kind of cracked things here and you're filling in the filling in the stuff and it still looks original yeah. um and, well, and I, I wasn't even down to uh repair that i was repairing one of the doors in there and i heard them talking uh we're going to rip this fireplace out it just looks old and weathered and i said well, why don't you let me have a go for a bit and then uh yeah they came back later on in the afternoon and they were just blown away yeah, I've just resprayed the whole. I filled it, resprayed the whole thing. And here again, another bath, enamel or acrylic, and yeah, enamel, yeah. And that will feel like because you are covering these things, so that will feel like it's 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 a smooth service, right? Because you yeah, you're yeah, covering, yeah, yeah. you, you so, fill them up, then you 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 get the color right, then you 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 paint if there's if there's patterns on it, and then you 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 cover it with something. This is what I said. Like your car looks more like an artist's uh, than a than a painter decorator. It looks more like an artist's van of little tiny artistic brushes and everything else you've got yeah everything. once the once the paint's been on it, it finds its own level so it's pretty much there anyway but if it needs a little polish it'll just take a, a minute or so just to um make it feel like the rest of the bus it's, it's no big deal at all. That's, that's one of the things i was, I was going to say how annoying it is when one of those is in the bath is that <laughs> like, and even I, I keep thinking about uh, when i was younger and lived in cheaper hotels where this was all over the place right yeah so but um you know again I, I'm I'm always I'm always blown away with the with not just the skill but also what is repairable. I mean, this is a, a again the shower tray we looked at before, but uh, you know, and this one here that this one here is one of my favorites as well, right? Because uh, beautiful tile and everything else. I mean, I, I would I would redo the mastic if I wanted to to sprouse it up, but that's another story. But you know, these things they break, right? Yeah. It's like I've got kids. You know that's what happens, right? It can be anything. It can be drop X Y Z, and then bam. I mean, you know, this is incredible. Again, it's a tile on a corner that you know, and doing it straight. So it's not just the filler. You've actually made it fit exactly like it is. That's the bathtub again. And um, here's a door, which I mean, doors are not cheap. No, doors are not cheap at all. Definitely not. You know? I mean, yeah, the the cost and the time of ordering a new one. It's a lot, especially on building sites, they haven't got time to wait. Things need to be done yesterday, really. So, you know, we're in there just saving people a lot of time and money and hassle. Yeah. And then the final one I'm looking at is here is like, uh, that's a typical one. I have two of those holes in my bathroom. Um, you know, somebody measured uh, once instead of twice. <laughs> you know, but that's where okay. Then normally you'd put some um, some some filler in, and it would be white. The the background is grey, and it's like. Sorry, you, 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 you I hate it. that. I, I mean, it. like, if I'm ever and, staying somewhere and I see that, I'm just almost uh, like on the verge of tears when I see that. It's just horrible. Well, we're kind of similar. It, I mean, it's, it's, it's funny how much it bothers me mm. when those colors are wrong. I mean, like, like, and, and Matt, how much is a service like that? How much is it to go out and do that just so that people get a reference on this stuff here? Uh, we could do that for 250 pounds. 250 pounds yes also if if, if you're going to change that you, if you try and take out one tile i guarantee you're going to break three or four around it it always happens it's impossible not to these things are quite brittle so yeah. why take the risk in, in um spending more money which you will do whereas we can just do this for you simply quickly it's going to look exactly the same no one's ever going to tell 
and and this is what I said, like when you walk into a home that's that's complete, right? And this is one of the things that I, you know, like like I really enjoy is like when you see these things. Like I, I enjoy going into something that's completely clean, but clean, and then also where those kind of things are fixed because this is not, um, you know, and and probably there'd be more than those two. I bet you that 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 bathroom probably had more than those two that needed oh, yeah, something definitely. else. So there's a number of little things that that can be done, and then the perfection of what it looks like is just priceless in my eyes um and also if like you're looking to sell i mean you don't you don't look like you're clumsy you don't look like you don't care mm -hmm. i had a really good podcast with um with with, with um, the property twins here today where they were talking about uh the value of when you're renting out a home and so forth if you're taking care of some of those things like how the tenant in most cases take more care of it we talked about the broken window um concept here um, I think it was a mayor of New York who said, like, if there's a broken window uh, and it's left, it left in that way, then very quickly graffiti comes. When graffiti is there, it looks like nobody's taking care of the area. That becomes a place where they're dealing drugs. Yeah. Um, when they're then dealing drugs, that becomes an area of, well, nobody's caring about this area. Nobody, There's no police here. Nobody's want, monitoring anything. Nobody cares. That becomes potential for more crime. And that, so, so like, I always said, like, it's a broken window concept. It's like, it's one of those things is like repair and then the care you have for it. But to me, it, it goes back deeper into something about sin, right? I mean, like, like the sin of, of, of quality work, um, mm -hmm. you know, and we know mistakes happen. We know that certain things can break and certain things uh, are getting to that level. Um, so, but, but. Matt, you discovered it, and, and like, like one of the things that I'm thinking about is like, who is this useful for? I mean, like, who is it useful for? Everyone. I don't see why anyone would want, want to use this service. Uh, new homeowners, um, renters, hotels, new builds, uh, schools, any kind of building where, like you say, there's been a mistake, where someone's been drilled in the wrong place, someone's been damaged. Um, you've had something delivered and then you've put it in, you realized it's broken on one end or anything. This is open for anyone. Mm. Mm. And it's also for insurance claim when somebody has done something. Insurance, insurance claims, claim. yeah. Yeah. And, and I mean, like, like the thing is, in some cases, it's, it's a simple paint job, right? What's the most difficult thing you've repaired? Um... Difficult, probably that door with the uh, with the water damage on it. Hmm. That takes a hell of a lot of time. That does. Yeah. And that's got to be sprayed first, and then you've probably got about six or seven hours putting each individual line back in, spraying over it again, putting the lines in. Yeah, it takes a long time. So um, quite um, heavy on the eyes. But um, what's, what's the most precious thing you've worked on, Matt? I mean, like something. I, work, I, I knew you've done you've done a lot of jobs on this one. Here. Oh yeah, is it, I think it was in Bristol, but um, someone had graffitied a statue. It was a, like big, this big um, memorial thing, and they wrote in their initials on there. So um, it was right out in the middle of a field. So I had to get one of those big generators to come with me, and I carried it all the way out there. I got it out there, and I realised it didn't work. So I had to carry it all the way back, get another one, and then take it all the way back down there. But yeah, once I had to respray this whole great big statue memorial thing and uh yeah people were pretty pleased about that it's nice it's nice to make something look like it should do really but i think it's a very satisfying job in a lot of ways it's a very satisfying thing it's like like when you're looking at the pictures and i like i want to go i you know matt i want to make a special little parcel on our instagram and, and this stuff here for this part of it because i think there's so much on it it's like when i watch some of the stuff we do in garden transformations it's like wow mm -hmm. you can yeah. do that and it's like it's like it's mesmerizing i could watch it for hours of, of, of the before and after so i can't wait to see what what challenges the the customers are going to give us and what they're going to going to send up so you know the, you go on the fantastic service website look for hard surface repairs um we're going to ask maybe for some pictures we're going to ask for maybe something on the email um yeah. and, then, and then we we're going to we're going to give you an idea of the quote and then of course come out and see what what what's what's worth doing it and um, that's the process we have now but i'm just i i keep being uh, surprised about it um is there a thing like you can repair tiles right you can repair hard surfaces as in kitchen worktops of any sort 
right? If it's wood, if it's enamel, if it's uh, can you fix aluminium scratches like on, on on let's say shiny fridges? Can you fix that kind of stuff? What 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 aluminium aluminium? Yeah, that can be polished out. That just needs to be uh, yeah polished and then uh, just go through the grades of the sandpaper. Yeah, very easy, very simple. And stainless steel on this one. Stainless steel. Yeah. There's not much we can't repair, and I always say, just let us have a go at it. If you're not yeah. happy, then we're we're not going to make it worse. Mm. So we're just gonna we're gonna come out if there's anything. Well, I've never I've never come to a job that I haven't been able to do, and none of my guys have either. We're always gonna get there. If it's a different material, we're gonna find what goes well with it. We're gonna fill it perfectly. We're gonna color match it or which whatever color it is, and then we're gonna lacquer over the top if we need to. But yeah, we'll make it look brand new. Doesn't matter what it is. And that's what that's what surprised me. I mean, I think that until I knew the service, it was like whether it was lacquer or something else. And 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 you kind of, I kind of think that that you know, one thing is what we have in society. I call this the disposable furniture, right? It's like it's just, we have fast fashion, which is you wear it for this stuff here, and then you you get rid of it. And we had disposable furniture. It came from a certain retailer that was cheap, and this stuff here. And, and, and now that we're, you know, if you're investing in design or bespoke or something else that's fitted in, it gets very interesting. And then, like, you can repair this and you can make things, you know, look good and new. I mean, because we look at a lot of, of like, vintage stuff that I think people got their eyes into, well, we can repair vintage. But this is a mix of vintage with the new. And that's where, that's where I think it becomes an art because it's, it's, it's what I saw with the grains of, of what you're doing. But... Um, I mean, the process is just literally just try and get a quote for it and, and, and see whether it's, whether it's there. That's the process, as simple as that, you know. And yeah, it, we, We've repaired a lot of uh, vintage antique furniture over the years, uh, mm. like old record players, old chairs, tables that have been in, in the family for 50, 100 years. People don't want to get rid of it, but they don't know that they can repair it. And then they kind of come across this service. And, uh, yeah, once you start doing stuff like that for uh, one member of the family, I find. They, all the other family seem to have old antique furniture as well. So we kind of start going around the whole family. We're just, uh, and there's stuff. something beautiful about this, Matt, because it fits into the idea about the um, um, repair, don't replace. I think that I think we're losing a lot of, 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 of value in, in furniture. I think we're losing a lot of... I think we're lo losing a lot of memories and this stuff here, but we're also, you know, destroying the planet by constantly replacing. I think repairing is is one of the things that's so important for us and, like, what can we repair? And it's one of those things that I've always been, you know, like, like when I see that, but what, what I was trying to come to is, like, is it, it was like an, a lost art form for many years because my grandfather was able to repair almost everything. I, I remember him, like, like he worked in, the, in, in a porcelain factory and he was doing porcelain. Yeah. You couldn't repair porcelain, so you couldn't see that there was a gap in it, right? You know, you couldn't see like, like, like. But he also he 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 was also building them uh, from scratch back in the, back in the days. But he he could repair them as well the same way. And it was like the patience and this stuff here. And it was like an art form, and they would paint it on top and then glaze it again. And like, uh, it was it was magic to see what what he was repairing. And then I think for almost 20 years i mean people just going like ah oh, no we'll just buy another one another one another one another one it's like ah and i'm like i'm like i think it's a waste of a lot of things but i also think that it's it's one of those lost arts and then i completely forgot until i saw the pictures again of what you were doing and i was like wow is this possible and then well, I'm, I'm not too sure how big this is uh, around the world because um a few years ago i was on holiday and there was a, a chip in the bath it was this was in america so I was like, oh, I wonder if anyone's going to fix that. So I went down to the to the maintenance room and spoke to the guy, and I was like, we've got a chip in our bath. And he's like, yeah, yeah, don't worry. We know all about it. We're going to change it next week. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not here to complain or anything. I just wanted to know, um, do you have a company that, that repairs it? And he's like, what do you mean, repair a bath? You can't repair a bath. And I was like, yeah, I, I do that. I've got my own company back in England. And he was like, oh, no, we don't do that over here. And I was thinking, hmm. So, uh, yeah, I, I tried to get out to America doing it, but it's all few visa issues but yeah it didn't really happen in the end but there's definitely in the, in the uk it's huge it really is huge especially on the corporate side commercial side building sites i mean every site manager in the uk will know what this this service is but i'm not too sure how far it's stretched yet around the world 
And I think that's that's what we're that's what we're here to talk about, Matt. Because it's like it's. I think the more we can talk about it in the sense of what we can show, what 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 is possible. Because to me, it's 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 so obvious that we can do so much more with this, and it's it's a very, um, you know, I think it's a good thing for the planet, and, and not just that. But I also I'm I'm impressed with it. And I said like, and that's where I said like, well, so we call it hard surface repairs. It's it's restoration, but it's also an art. You know, there's so yeah. much more to it than 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 the part of it. And I think you're talking about the right thing in America. I think that's a great place to to talk about where we're going next and the other places we're opening in Europe and so forth. But I think that the main thing is 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 like we. I think we have to talk more about it, Matt, in in the sense of where um, and what's possible. And I think that you've you've highlighted some of this, and I can't wait to see the next pictures of the next jobs and what's going on now. And uh, you know, it's like it's like I always when when I get a message from you saying, "Oh, we repaired this," I'm always impressed. I'm like, how? And, and and even now I've known it, I've seen the pictures and this stuff here. I'm still like, how? And <laughs> and and I think I think it's I think it's the same for everyone. So. I think it's the same for everyone. It's like you can really repair almost anything, and 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 we're not talking about electrical uh, electrical stuff in that one here, but we're talking about things can just look like new or look like they were or look like they should. Um, yeah, I mean, rather than spending the money on something new, why not just make things better in your house? Mm. Save a bit of money, save the planet, save the hassle, save the time. I mean. I don't know why you wouldn't want to do this. This is uh, a lot better than anything else. Well, I mean, it's, it's one of the things we talked about, the perfectionism, right? It's like not everybody sees the things, right? And not everybody notices this. I, you know, some people have an eye for detail. Some people don't have an eye for details. And it's like when you, but to me, those things bother me so much. You know, it's yeah, crazy. Once you see it once, you see it every time. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I remember... I, very often I had to step out when the builders were in and do this stuff here because I, I, if, if I was involved in it, I could see it, you know, I can see it. And then I was like, afterwards, I'm like, I can't see it anymore because I didn't get involved in it. But it was the same when I was doing my painting and decorating. I was like, I could see it because it's very perfection is extremely hard. Um, but I mean, but what I saw now is like that comes so close that I'm just baffled by it. And um, what, 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 what's a challenge you'd really like to repair? What's, what's something you'd really like to try and repair something you haven't, Ah, God. Uh, there's not much I haven't repaired, to be honest. I've been doing it for 13 years. There's not much I, that I haven't come across. Uh, th to be honest, the, the, the best part of my day, the best part of, of the job is the customer's face after you've repaired it. Uh, the, the satisfaction I get from that from doing a good job is really nice, and that's what makes me keep going back, and that's what I try and instill in, in the guys working for me. It's do a good job, be nice, and surprise them. They'll, they'll probably think you can't do it or it's going to be, you're going to be putting a bit of mastic in the tile to cover up on that grey tile. We don't do that. We're going to fill it, cover it, and they're going to walk in and be like, uh, which one was it again? Uh, yeah. We just want it perfect. So that's that's the best part. And that's what I was so surprised about because there's a, like I've seen a lot of repair jobs, trust me. <laughs> you know, I've seen a lot of repair jobs. I've seen a lot of white on gray, on different grays and beige and every single color there. And it's like, guys, you know, and, 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 and the beginner was like, Oh, but I mean, is it like, we don't know better or is it because, I mean, this was not an overnight sort of, you learned it in, 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 in three days and then, Oh, now I can do that stuff. Everybody can put in mastic and get it sort of level, but you know, it's not a repair. That's uh, you know, that's uh, that's a temporary fix in my eyes. And I mean, there's nothing temporary about this. Like once I say with the filler, once it's in there, it's in there. This is this is yeah. not coming out. I mean, I don't know who's going around putting mastic in tiles and bars, but they really. Need oh, you've to seen it everywhere. You probably take yeah, a few I, I bits of it out. You know, I think, I think yeah, people yeah. just like to cover up the damage a little bit. But if you just uh, go on the go on the Fantastic Services website and look for hard surface repair, we can be there and. 24 hours and then the job can be done not long afterwards yeah no and i think i think i think the idea is to get more awareness of it and also like you know and i still look at the pictures and i still look at it and i was like i can only you know as a, as a client I said, i'm looking at it going like 
there's no way he can fix that. You know, and as you go like, and it's like, and, and, and it kind of fills you with joy that it's done. I mean, Matt, it's such a satisfying service. It's yeah. one of those, it's, it's, it's fast becoming one of my favorite ones to look at. And as I said, like, I can't wait to see for the next pictures of what you're repairing next, because it, it is fascinating to watch. And it's also fascinating to watch how you work. So um, for the, for the listeners out there, um, we will put a lot more on, on on our Instagram. We'll put a lot more on the YouTube, and we'll share some more pictures on it because I think I think the more we can show of how incredible this is. I mean, there was a there's a Instagram sound now. It's like they're never gonna know. They're not gonna know. They're not gonna know. Yeah. And do you know what? In this case here, they're not gonna know that it's repaired, and that's what it just baffles me. Like what? Like oh, this thing that'll broke, and and so on. like, how did you repair that? You know? Yeah. Um, we watch a lot. We well, we work on a lot of new build places before customers have moved in. This is where a lot of our trade is. So, where uh, other tradesmen have damaged doors or flooring or tiles or worktops, and I'm sure if you told a homeowner that the door has been repaired, the bathroom repaired, the worktop has been repaired, I mean, even if you told them to look for it, or even if you pointed it out, yeah, they probably they probably still wouldn't know that it was there. So no one ever really knows, like you say. They won't know. No, <laughs> they won't Perfection. know. But that's the thing. Like when you come in, and it is like if it if it's it's if it's an extension you're doing, and then you've seen it being built. That's what's like. I always I always have to close my eyes sometimes when these things are being being done, or when something is is changed because I'll see it. And then when you come out afterwards, it's like, can you just you know next time I says, can we get Matt from Fantastic Services out, and can we just you know like 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 remove this stuff here? And it's like wow. Uh, so, I mean, it's a real pleasure to talk to you, Matt, and I hope this is one of, of, of many chats we'll have on the property experts. Uh, and I can't wait to show a lot more images and videos as well of, of, of your work. And this is like, welcome to the Fantastic Services family. Um, as I said, it's, it's not often I, I, I talk about a new service, but in this case here, I think it's important for us to talk about it, especially for property experts and for landlords. I think it's important to know that this is possible. I think it's, it's both for, for new builds, it's for insurance claims, it's for when you're changing tenancy, when somebody else is moving out, it's also for getting your deposit back. It's also for like, you know, there are so many properties out there and I'm like, everything oh the carpet has been done and you know it's like we do we do carpet restoration as well we do a couple of other things like that and it's like oh well you know oh it's so easy just to replace and do you know what like when we like it was the same as my discovery of how good carpet cleaning can be unless it's a, a severe white wine or red wine stain it's never been treated and they put all sorts of stuff in there you know i'm always surprised at what can clean and what can't clean and like like sofa cleaning and so forth but then this to me raises the bar like to the highest level of it. So that's why I had to get you on here, Matt. And I'm so um, happy to have had your time on this. Uh, do keep sending us pictures and we'll put them on our Instagram because it, it is magic. Uh, yeah. what, you're, what you're doing is like, and I call it magic repairs. Um, so thank you so much again, Matt. Is there anything that you'd, um, you'd recommend that, that people do in order to, 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 to check whether it's possible? I mean, you, is there anything? Yeah, you can go um, straight through the Fantastic Services website onto our online booking form. We've got a Facebook page, which is on there. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn for any uh, queries, any repairs, any questions you've got. Can this be repaired? Is, is this repairable? We'll always be happy to help. There is no repair too big or too small that we can't do. Matt, again, it's been so nice to talk to you. Um, uh, so, so like like for the for the rest of you guys remember to subscribe to the fantastic um uh, the fantastic services property experts podcast is just type in property experts podcast on google you'll find us there on the app store you'll find us on spotify you'll find us on the podcast on apple and itunes and everywhere else um, that we are live so thank you so much and um on our youtube we'll show the images again they're also on our website so thank you so much matt and thank you uh, much. thanks for having me you know i i can't wait to see what you're repairing next me too <laughs> Yeah, and that was it. That was it.